Hey everybody, this is Travis at Robbins Rehab, and uh, we have a little uh, downtime in the clinic now, uh, and I wanted to go over uh, a couple things that you could be doing at home. So most of our patients are at home now. We still are, are open and seeing some patients, but a majority of them um, are at home. So while you're at home, and you have maybe a little bit of extra time on your hands, then we're gonna do, be doing a movement challenge for you guys every week for the, at least the next three weeks. So what we have been working on at Robbins Rehab is trying to get kind of like a scoreboard for movement. So uh, probably the easiest analogy would be uh, if you know what your blood pressure is supposed to be. So most people, I mean, it's diff a little bit different based on you know uh, your demographics and your age and a couple other factors, but most people kind of generally know that 120 over 80 is what your blood pressure should be. So what would that look like for movement? So especially as we get older in age and wanna to try to maintain our independence, we wanna to try to make sure that there are certain things in place to make sure that you can do that. And a lot of that surrounds movement. So what we're gonna do is the first challenge here is getting up from the floor. Now that might not seem very exciting, especially to some younger people that are watching this, uh, but I found out that my ability to get down from the floor and back up is not that great. I'm gonna show you right now. So here's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna get down on the floor and stand up. Depending how much uh, support I need to do that, will give me kind of a score. And all the information about that will be below if you're watching this uh, on Facebook or social media, uh, or if you're getting this an email, all the information will be below. But this is just kind of to show you what we're looking for. So this was actually studied in terms of if you can do this uh, as you age, then you tend to have a lot less uh, health problems um, in terms of general uh, orthopedics and, and motion, but also uh, general health problems seem to be less when you are able to do this. So all you're gonna do is get down onto the floor, cross-legged like this. You can already see I'm struggling because my hip mobility is not great, but I'm gonna work on that. Uh, and can you get up from this position? So some people, believe it or not, without touching anything at all, can get up from this position. Nick is actually gonna post this video. He can do it pretty easily if you guys know Nick in the banger office. Um, some people might need some support. So for me, I'm not even gonna attempt doing it with, without support because I know I can't do it. But in order for me to get up from this position, I'm gonna have to put my hand down on the floor and stand up from that position. Okay? So that's how I have to do that. I'm gonna work on being able to do it without having to do that. But um, that would be one way that you would modify that as opposed to getting straight up from the floor. Another way that you might have to do it, you know, you might, especially some uh, of our patients that are a little bit older might not be able to do that, not be able to get up from this position like this. So they might have to kind of turn and use something else to help them get up like a chair, like this. So up like that, and then you're able to get up. Believe it or not, some of our patients can't get up from the floor no matter what. So those are typically our patients that are getting towards the area where they're starting to lose their independence. If you fall down on the ground, you cannot get back up. If there's no one else to help you, then that becomes an issue. So here's what I want. I want you guys to try this at home. If you can get up from the floor without any support in a cross-legged position, you're doing great. Please take a video of that and post that. Um, if you do it the way that I did it, using one hand for support, two hands, whatever way you do it, if you post it on our social media or you reply to this email, uh, we're gonna put you in a drawing for the week and uh, we'll put your name out of that drawing and we're gonna do some prizes at the end of the week. Uh, probably a t-shirt because everybody loves our t-shirts. So all the information uh, about this will be below. Uh, again, just trying to give you guys something to do at home to kind of work on your movement. So what's gonna happen is tomorrow you're gonna get an email and we're gonna go over some mobility issues, which I clearly have um, for the hip uh, that might be restricting your ability to do that without using any support. But even if you have to use one hand, two hands, the exercises are going to apply. So tomorrow you're gonna get emails like, okay, if it's a mobility issue that's causing your inability to do that, then we're gonna help you work on that. If it's a strength issue, then we're gonna help you with that. That'll be an email coming up after the email that you get tomorrow. If you have any questions about this, just hit reply, or uh, if you're watching this on social media, put some comments below, and uh, good luck with your movement challenge.